This is Apples in the Snow by the late, great Geoffrey Morehouse. He's a wonderful English travel writer, or writer generally. And this one is from 1990, and it's um, in a way a sequel to another of his books, which I haven't read yet, which is To the Frontier. Um, the idea here is that he's traveling uh, across Central Asia to Samarkand, but the main reason he's doing so is to follow the um, to trace the footsteps, let's say, of the Russian army that was retreating from its failed venture into Afghanistan. And as we now know, looking back historically, uh, this was really the, the start of the real decline of the Soviet Union, the breakup of the former sort of Soviets, the colonies that they had to these different uh, states, the different stands in Central Asia. It's a wonderful book, um, not least for the, the detail with which he describes everything he sees. Um, there's some very um, interesting but also uh, memorable passages, such as when he's in Dushanbe, which is the modern capital of uh, Tajikistan, and he sees this uh, trail of lights leading from the airport, and it's the, the greatest retreat in uh, modern history, as he puts it, the greatest evacuation. Um, there's also a lot of um, detail on the life of Genghis Khan, who of course was quite central to the history of this area of the world. It's a brilliant book really, it's uh, the sort of thing that you can read even though it's now rather out of date. It, it has survived the interve intervening passage of the years and uh, it really makes you want to visit that part of the world to see how it is now. So it does its job very, very well. And for that reason, I'm going to give it four and a half out of five stars.